for the venture capitalists, the uh, IT industry is not growing as rapidly today as it was 20 years ago. So it's hard for the venture capitalists to have any IT spaces as, as, as many and as successful investments they've had in the past. Silver Lake, that's actually a pretty good thing because the technology economy is still growing two to two and a half, maybe three times greater than the rest of the economy. So it looks good for someone who's investing in mature companies. It's much more of a challenge for people in the, in the venture space. So that's kind of point one. Point two is that there is an important transition uh, in the technology industry going on from a focus on IT to a focus on kind of internet-based business models and also on technologies around uh, energy. There's been a shift uh, uh, accelerated by the financial crisis of global growth outside of the developed markets and being able to kind of address those markets successfully is an important task that uh, I guess almost any uh, industry has to, has to deal with. Asia has been a manufacturing hub for the IT economy for decades now. The, uh, there's now a transition going on into it becoming, and has been for years now, of it becoming a consumer of technology goods, both the enterprises and now increasingly at the household level. What um, should come next, and we'll see if it does or not, is the actual development of indigenous technologies and indigenous innovation. And that's the part people are talking a lot about and wondering a lot about. Um, if I had to make a guess today, I would expect it to occur more in the clean and energy related technologies than uh, basic IT and internet technologies, but I could be wrong. Uh, I am less uh, uh, interested in businesses that have government support and more interested in businesses that have an underlying commercial proposition that uh, is valuable, that is economic. And so, in whatever market you go to today, the um, geothermal or heat pump technologies is a technology that works, doesn't require subsidy, doesn't require government intervention to be successful because it's a technology, con it's, uh, it's, and it's a, it, because conservation and efficiency are today's, very, is today a very good place to invest. Renewable energy is something that requires government, much more government assistance typically today, but the conservation technologies and energy efficiency technologies are economic today.